Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about different crops and what can we do different on the separator. Um, the machine we're looking at at the moment is set for main crop for in-store use. So we've got the standard 10mm high 6 rib roller, it's the best all round performing roller, generally aimed at main crop. We'll deal with smaller potatoes but we find we may have to set every adjustment on the machine as least aggressively as we can to make up for quite an aggressive spiral roller. So what should we do on small potatoes? Um, we would recommend this roller. So it's different in a couple of ways to the um, standard main crop roller. It's a larger body diameter. The ribs are only six millimeters high compared to 10 and there's only four of them. So as that's rotating, it just gets four bites of the cherry. This one gets six, and they're smaller bites. That's the important thing. So um, the idea of the bigger body actually is to reduce the open gaps between the rollers as well. So when we're getting down to thumbnail size, even as small as 16, 18 millimeter size potatoes, this roller, with a stainless steel clod roller would be the first option for us. That would be our recommendation. Um, the way that it works better, all we're really doing is taking away its ability to clean. We've got a less aggressive tread pattern. Um, it means we can get the clod roller closer to the body of the roller. So that valley, rather than being square bottomed, becomes quite shallow. So the small potatoes, no matter how small they are, find it difficult to get into the bottom of the valley to get extracted. But it still gives us a cleaning. Doesn't clean as well as this one in large clog in real heavy conditions. But generally small potatoes, we're on sandier soils, lighter loamy soils. We're probably lifting at a better time of the year. So a less aggressive roller means we can keep 100% of the crop in. In terms of form and weed, still every bit as good as that roller. So we fully expect to get good cleaning out of that. Full horn separation, small stone, small soft clod and loose soil. That's without doubt our best recommendation. We can go one step further uh, in very, very small crop or in very, very dry conditions. We can offer a larger diameter stainless steel clod roller. So we're on a 63 millimeter or a two and a half inch diameter with this one we can offer you a three inch. And really what that does, it completely fills the gap between the spiral rollers. So there is zero chance of anything escaping. Um, so just to, to summarize that, the four rib six millimeter roller, stainless steel clod roller, either in the 63 or the 73 millimeter diameter. Um, and that's really your weapon of choice. Um, we can use rubber clod roller on there as well, but we do rely on the fact that we need loose soil with the crop. Um, that really only happens in, in a harvesting environment in the field. In the in-store situation, really recommend to go with this arrangement here. Okay. Any adjustments to think about? Well, there is. Again, we want that clod roller as tight to the spiral roller as we can get it. We really don't want a gap. So keep that gap to the thickness of a sheet of paper between your clod roller and the ribs of your spiral roller. Generally, we'll run the clod roller lower, so it's less aggressive. It's easier then for the clods, the stones, the potatoes to escape out of the valley quicker. And of course, we've got the speed control. Again, we'll run the spiral roller at 130, 125 RPM. But the clod roller, we can afford to run that really quite slowly in reverse and still get the cleaning that we need uh, and that would be our recommendation for the small potatoes we're just putting this little short video on for you just to explain and show better how small potatoes are kept in the machine without losses and how we separate efficiently um, there's a little bit to know with this one uh, there's just two pairs of rollers in this video they're mounted in a mobile harvester or a windrower that's just digging two rows of potatoes, doing a very limited amount of cleaning, uh, and then deposits the crop to one side after they're lifted. 
into the next pair of potato rows. So what we can see on the video when I run that is um, how the cleaning is happening and what effect that has on with losses of potatoes, or in this case, very little losses. So what we have is the preferred spiral roller, which are the four rib six millimeter version, which is the least aggressive that we do. And we talked about earlier in the other video, in, uh, in the earlier part of the video, about what type of clod roller we could use. So we run stainless steel, mild steel, and the most aggressive is rubber. Our preferred clod roller in salad potatoes would be stainless steel. However, as you'll see on this video, this is a very short separator. It's only got two pairs of rollers in it. And we're actually running rubber on this occasion, but it's quite good because it'll show you actually, even though we're running the most aggressive rubber clod roller, we don't get losses with potatoes. And I'll be able to explain that as the video runs on. So just really telling you about what, what's going to happen here. We've got a lot of loose soil coming over because we're digging crop out of the field, which helps lubricate the action or what's happening in the valley. And it reduces the aggressiveness just because we have some loose soil acting as a lubricant. So that allows us to run rubber. If it was in an in-store environment where the conditions were drier and there was no loose soil, we really would want to be running stainless steel. So just running through this video, I'll tell you how we got that one set up. So we're running these spiral rollers at the preferred 130 RPM. That's the grey rollers running in the same direction as the crop. And then the clod roller, uh, the, or the black rubber roller, as you can see in this video, is running in the opposite direction, which is the most aggressive way of running it. If we run the rollers all in the same direction, we'd have very, very little horm extraction, but because we're running in the reverse direction, it is able to grab the horm and extract it in most cases. You'll see on this video, we've got, we're not getting every bit of soil and we're not getting every bit of horm out. Um, in the centre of the machine it's been overwhelmed slightly with the amount of loose soil but either but where it's been sieved better we, have, we are actually seeing some good cleaning occurring so what's important to remember from this video is spiral roll is fast so the crops dancing or staying alive and not settling in the valleys we're running the clod rollers in reverse but if you look, it's very, very slowly. So these clod rollers are only running at about 30 RPM. In terms of height, we've got the clod roller very low. So it, the crop, as it drops into the valley, can escape quite quickly. So it's not sitting there for long periods of time. And also, and very, very importantly, there's very little gap between the spiral roller and the clod roller. So we're only talking about one millimeter gap between the two rollers. So Having no gap, a low clod roller, and running them slowly is the least aggressive way we can run that clod roller. And as you'll see from the video, we do actually get really quite reasonable cleaning out of it. Our problem is, on the video, is that we've got an overwhelming amount of soil traveling up the center of the conveyor belt in and overwhelming the separator. But as you can see, the important thing is, and at the end of the video especially, you can see that we have no losses of potatoes but we are still getting the cleaning that we're after. So that's the kind of action, the kind of speed you need to be looking for. The crop wants to be in that valley momentarily, roll around a couple of times and then move off. We don't want it to be stagnant with the rollers running slowly. We need speed and the crop to stay alive. And hopefully that'll just give you a bit better idea of what you're looking for when you're working on those small potatoes.